All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you all of the ins and outs of the new Discord soundboard, how to use it, what features you can use for free, what features you need Nitro for, how to upload your own custom sounds, all of that good stuff I'm going to show you how to do right here, including how to set up a key binding and also how to control the volume. So in general, when you join your server, this is my test server, and you hop inside of a voice chat channel, all servers should have access as long as you're on desktop. I, they're still slowly rolling out this to desktop and then they'll add mobile later. So as of right now, that does not have a mobile version to use the soundboard, but you can join a server, join their voice chat channel, and then down here in the lower left hand corner, you see this open soundboard button. It's like a little cardboard box with a music note on it. This is your big old collection of all of the different sounds that you have on Discord. If you're not a part of a server that has cool sounds, then you'll just have the ones here at the bottom, like the, the duck quack or the air horn or buttums. So that's fine. Like you've got all of these that you can mess around with and then you can upload your own. So when you just, when you open up this little menu, you can see a list of all the servers you've got in the corner here that have different sounds that you can use. And then at the top, if you favorited it by hovering over it, you can press on like, let's see here. Let's say um, I wanna save for later, got them. I can hover over it. I can preview it by hitting this button so only I can hear it. I can play it by just clicking the button. <laughs> And then it'll say got him and most of it's the one button to play it and then over here on the side you can favorite it and now that will show up at the very top of your sounds so if you ever have one that you use a lot you can click on it like fbi open up i use all the time so that's how you play them now if you're looking for one and you know what it's called we can call it like you know better call saul is this one right here i can search for sounds as well up here at the top and if you find them absolutely god awful annoying, you can go to this button right here and you can control the soundboard volume right here. You can also control it inside your dashboard with other sound like volume controls as well. So you've got options. So let's say you want to upload some of these sounds to your server. By default, a non boosted server can have up to eight of these sounds on it for free. And you don't have to have Nitro to use the soundboard, but you do have to have Nitro to use sounds from other servers when you're not currently connected to that server. So I can use all these sounds from all these other servers because I pay for Nitro. But you, if you don't pay for Nitro, can't do that. So if you wanna add your own sounds, you just gotta to go to server settings and there's literally a whole section here at the top called soundboard and it shows you all of the sounds that you have available. Like let's delete the yeehaw so I have some extra space and I can upload a sound right now. So got, I've got three slots available of my eight freebies. If you have um, a fully boosted server, you can have almost like 50 sounds. I think you get like 48. And if we click on the upload sound button, the limitations are it has to be an MP3 file. It has to be five seconds or shorter and it can't be any bigger than 512 kilobytes in size. So when we upload our own sound, and if I go to my um, temporary downloads folder, I've got a bunch of freebie sound packs for people out there. I'll put a link to the video um, playlist of the videos where I gave these sound packs away for free. These are just fun little meme sound packs that you can see here, like a bite sound, a dog sniff, two hours later from SpongeBob, an anime punch, Tom and Jerry scream, Uncle Roger, stuff like that. But let's say I want to do like, uh, what sounds good? Let's do the record scratch, because that's a good sound. So you can preview what it sounds like up here. And if it's too long or you want it to be shorter, you can drag these side bits from the sides to cut out any sort of dead zone in the, in the sound. That way you don't have like a big gap in, in nothing and then suddenly it plays the sound and then nothing again. So then I can play it again to make sure it's exactly what I want, which sounds good. And then we'll call this record scratch. This is what people will see inside of the list of sounds that they can play when they're on my server. If I think it's too loud, I can adjust the default volume here with this slider, but I always just leave it at full because the people 
don't like the soundboard, they can just turn it down. It's, it's kind of obnoxious if you're uploading 50 sounds to police every volume for every sound effect, but you can. And then we click an icon that we want. Let's see, this, I think there's actually a record in here, or a disc? Yeah, the disc will work. So you pair a name with an icon, and then you hit upload. Now, it's automatically uploaded my new sound. I can go out of here, back to my little voice chat channel. I can go back to the Chupacabra test thing, and then it's got the record scratch. So that's how you upload it. That's how you use them. Let's talk about how you can kind of police the sounds that they make. So if I go into the settings, in my user settings, and you go to voice and video, there's actually a soundboard volume up here underneath of your microphone and your headset volume. This is very important, this one or using it in the soundboard window itself, to prevent you from having your ears destroyed by gnarly sounds. You might notice that mine starts at 15%. That's intentional. I'm a part of some servers where people like to troll each other by playing blasting loud sounds and spamming them, so it can be kind of annoying. You can even mute it if you like as well. Now, something else that's kind of useful to know is that when someone's in here with you, you can right click them. It doesn't show me the option for myself because I can't mute myself, but you can mute someone specifically's use of the soundboard. So if there's one particular person on your server being a pest, you can just right click that one person and click and say mute the soundboard from these options. Uh, if I can get a clip of that sometime later, I'll put that in the video. If not, that's how you do it. And for the most part, that is the bread and butter of your soundboard capabilities. At present, I don't believe that they allow you to use these in direct calls, because that would require you to have sounds assigned to your account. These are currently um, tied to a server, and to use them outside of that server, again, you need to have Discord Nitro. So I hope you found that you helpful. This has been how you use the Discord soundboard, how you upload new sounds, and how you can kind of police it a little bit by right-clicking somebody and saying, no sounds for you. So I hope you found that useful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.